Number five, in the diagram above, which of the labeled arrows identifies hydrogen bonding in water? So I want everybody to understand that this hydrogen bonding is a type of intermolecular forces. Now, intermolecular forces, what does that mean? It's literally forces inter among molecules, right? So I want you to understand it's not the bond that is with Within the molecule. Within is intra. We're talking about inter among the molecules. So first of all, take a look at what A says. That hydrogen bond is not on hydrogen bond. Remember, hydrogen bond is hydrogen bonded to um, fluorine, nitrogen, and oxygen. If some people have a hard time memorizing these three, you can memorize it as hydrogen uh, bonding with, sometimes I can call it freak of nature. So F-O-N, or fuck no, however you want to freaking memorize it. But anyway, so those are the three atoms that must be bonded to hydrogen to begin with in order to create hydrogen bonding. The problem is, well, why is it not hydrogen bonding? Because once again, that's intra. That's within that molecule. That's not what we're talking about, right? Let's take a look. Well, I know the answer is D, so let me explain all the other ones wrong. So take a look at B. Well, that's between oxygen and oxygen. That, that doesn't involve hydrogen. That's why B should be off too. Look at C. That's hydrogen and hydrogen. That doesn't involve hydrogen and one of the three that I just mentioned, the fluorine, nitrogen, or oxygen. So that's why that's wrong. And take a look at D. This is perfect. Oxygen of this water molecule and hydrogen of this other water molecule. That interaction right there, that is what's called the hydrogen bonding in terms of its intermolecular forces. Once again, it's intermolecular forces, the forces among the molecules. So one molecule to another molecule, and more specifically, the hydrogen and one of the three elements, once again, the fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. So that's why that should be hydrogen bonding.